Hi everyone, um, it is of course still time for some decluttering and today I would like to declutter my um, current makeup basket with you. And uh, when I say current, I mean the makeup basket um, that I've been using since about um, December 28th of 2015. And um, originally this was supposed to go for two weeks only, but since I like the products a lot, I decided to um, extend this for two more weeks. And so this is now going to go until the 24th of January 2016. And um, that also means that I am going to actually um, move items around this weekend as well. So um, I hope you enjoy. Please excuse my cup of tea, but I'm not feeling too hot and tea usually helps. Also, I drink more if I drink tea. And um, that is usually good when you're not feeling too hot. So my eyelash curler I'm keeping obviously my Sephora shimmer harmony gloss palette I'm keeping as well I'm panning it this year the same goes for my Aster lip soft sensation lip color butter in loft up my buxom big and healthy lipstick in Shanghai which is this dark berry color love it not getting rid of it then my Isadora of the Perfect Moisture Lipstick in Bare Berry. It's a nudie shade, less mo more than a berry shade, but I like it. I'm keeping it. I'm panning this as well. My Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Sand. Really love this. Can't pass this along. It is cruelty free and vegan too. Then I have um, two cruelty free eyeliners. This Trended Up Ultra Black Eyeliner Pen Waterproof is actually also vegan. It has a felt tip and while it is not as black as I would like for it to be, I'm still going to keep it because it works with the tip. Then I have another Trended Up product. This is the Ultra Black Liquid Eyeliner. This is not vegan but cruelty free and I'm going to keep this. This is a, this has a brush that you apply it and it's not as much of a tip as I would like for it to be, but it's okay and it's the first time that I can actually somewhat work with a liquid eyeliner. Then um, I have currently technically two mascaras in my makeup basket. The one that I can't show you right now is the Levera Long Lash Mascara and um, the reason for that is um, my son kind of disappeared it and um, I, f I found it again somewhat. It is... Um, in a dark, dusty corner that I cannot possibly reach, which, which is why it's dusty. So, um, I probably have to wait until somebody can actually figure out a way to reach it. Before, um, I could reuse this and by then I'm pretty sure I'm just so grossed out by the fact that it has been lying around in a dusty corner for so long. I'm just going to move this one out, especially because it would almost also be moved out because um, in mid-February it just um, is past its three months. The other mascara is my L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Excess Mascara and this is almost gone because of the three months and um, I'm going to move this one out then. Not too sad about it, it's starting to get a bit better but it's still not cruelty free so... This um, is going soon. I'm going to use this one up though. And my Dita Von Tees perfume in Rouge. I like this a lot. I've been using this for the past few days since I've used up the other perfume. And I like it. I'm keeping it. And then we come to this basket here. Now, let me move out the products I have technically already decluttered or not. That's them. And here we are. We have my Userin Sun Protection 50 Plus Sun Fluid Mattifying for sensitive skin. This is my facial sun lotion. I'm keeping this one around. Um, I'm about halfway through. I'm keeping this around until um, the end of April. Then the year that um, sun lotions are good is up and I'm going to move this one out. And I'm going to replace this with a cruelty free version. I just don't know which one that will be yet. My Bare Minerals Primetime and Foundation Primer, I'm going to keep that one as well. The same goes for my Catrice Liquid Camouflage in 010 Porcelain. I just love this too much. Also, it is cruelty free. Then, 
my Catrice Camouflage Cream in 010 Ivory. I'm going to keep this one as well because it's just great. This leads me to um, eye bases. The first one is my MAC Paint Pot in Rubenesque. And, oops. While this seems to be a bit dry because it has moved from the sides, it doesn't feel like it, but I absolutely don't like this color on me. I don't know why, because this has quite a dip going on. I just don't like it, so I'm going to move this one out of my collection. I'm decluttering it. And, um, yeah, I just, I can't work with the color. I usually um, really apply so much eyeshadow over it so that the color doesn't show up. I don't see the point. Then I have another MAC Paint Pot. This is in Vintage Selection, and it is this shade here, a taupey, shimmery taupey shade, and I like this a lot more. It doesn't have as much of a dip going, but I'm going to keep this one because um, I can use this alone, even without having to layer a ton of eyeshadows and colors over it to make the color disappear. I'm going to keep that. And then I have um, my Deep Potted Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I still had the small deluxe size sample in the Genie bottle, which uh, means it's probably three years old, maybe four. It came with one of my Urban Decay palettes. And I decided to actually depot this because I was annoyed by having to stick the wand in ever, over and over again. And this is the product I got out. This is a color tattoo container. And this is a lot of product. Now, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but... I'm pretty sure that this is going to last me for a long time. Then I have another MAC product. This is a fluid line in rich ground. This is a bronzy brown shade, which I like a lot. This is not the one with the biggest dip, but I uh, think this is the most versatile color. So I'm going to keep this around and try to actually pan this in 2016. Now, proud products. I have two right now. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in blonde and this is starting to dry out a bit I have the feeling but I haven't used this in quite a while because I was working on my eyeliner pencils and powders so I like this a lot still and I can get enough product on a brush to apply this on my eye eyebrows so I'm gonna keep this and maybe hopefully pay on this in 2016 and my other product is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their Tinted Brow Gel, also in blonde. This is the old version, which still has a bit of a shimmer going on. I don't mind that, though. And this is the only product I have on my brows today. Then we're coming to eyeliners and the likes. I have my Trended Up Contour and Glide Kajal in 010, which is a dark matte black. This is cruelty-free and vegan. I love this one. I'm keeping this one for sure. My NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is the one that I have the issues with sharpening. My dad finally figured out that apparently this is too big for all my pencil sharpeners, even the big ones. So, sharpening this is a bit of an issue because right now I've been using my son's sharpener for his big crayons. And um, it has butchered it a bit because it is very loose in there. It, the, the crayons are bigger than this one. So... I'm going to see what I can do with it, but for the time being, I know how to sharpen it at least. And then I have the Soiva Graphic Eyes in Funky Soul. This is a bronzy golden shade. Hello? There we go. This is a wonderful bronzy golden shade. I love this, but I'm trying to use this one up because the Graphic Eyes have been reformulated. They are now the Graphic Eyes Plus eyeliner pencils, and um, I just want to use this one up because it, I love the shade. My uh, MAC Eye Coal and I Get No Kick is a product I have in Project U um, Use It Up and Project PM. And this has maybe two sharpenings left and then it's gone, so I'm going to use this one up. I'm not going to declutter it now. It's just too close to being completely done. My Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Rockstar. I have a duplicate of this and this is a dark um, plummy purple. I love this going to use this one up and that leads me to um, face products first. My Essence Cinderella Highlighter Powder, shown this before, this has this rose imprint. I love this one, I'm not going to pass this along. My uh, Manhattan Powder Rouge in Golden Brown, this is um, not cruelty free but I'm trying to use this one up and I have hit pan. 
I used to not like this color on me at all, now I like it quite a bit. In fact, this um, along with my bronzer is the only color I have used today. And as you can maybe see, I have made quite a dent in it. So I'm going to keep this around, I want to actually really pan this. Then I have my MAC blush in style. The packaging was bust when I first got it already, so um, quite a downer because if you take into account how much they cost, I think the packaging should be more sturdy. This is a corally orange shade, peachy maybe a bit with golden sheen to it and um, trying to use this one up. I'm not going to declutter it because I think I'm close enough to um, everything that I can actually use this one up. And hopefully I will not get sick of it before then. The last blush I have in here is my Physicians Formula Happy Booster in the shade Natural. And well, I dislike the packaging because it's just way too bulky. This makes up for everything. I just love the way these look. It's gorgeous. It makes me really happy. So I understand why they call them the Happy Boosters. I'm going to keep this for sure. This leads me to another Physicians Formula product, my Bronze Booster in the shade Fair to Light. Another product I really love, but I'm using this one up because it's quite bulky and um, I have other um, bronzers that I would like to try. So I'm going to try and use this one up. I'm keeping this one though. Then I have a Manhattan Eyeshadow Trio in my Precious China. I really like these colors a lot, so I'm going to keep them. They're just beautiful, so I don't see the point. Unfortunately, because the uh, mirror here um, covers part of the eyeshadows, it is always dirty and um, I've given up hope of getting this one clean. Then, um, let me quickly go to this one here. This is my Urban Decay Naked on the Run palette. It's the reason why my uh, makeup basket actually stayed around for a month or four weeks instead of two weeks only because I just wanted to play around with the shades a bit more. I did that. And um, I love it. I'm not going to pass this along. But let me move everything back in first. So. Some tea. Now we come to my um, custom palette that is um, technically completely in my project. Use it up. But... Um, I'm unsure. No. Let's look at it. So the top row is all MAC shadows. I'm going to keep them around because I think I have made enough of a dent to know I can use them up. This is all that glitters. This is Woodwinged and this is Brown Script. I even have quite a dent in Brown Script as you can see right here. So I can do this. I'm fairly positive. Then we have these four shades here. They are from Coastal Scents. They are their hot pots. This is in M24. This is in M07. This is in HPME06. And this is an HPME01. So, this one here I'm going to keep because I have made a dent in it. I like using this one to darken up my outer V and my crease sometimes even. This one is almost gone, so declaring this now would make me feel bad. I'm going to keep this. This I'm not sure about because I'm pretty sure that I have colors that are similar, but I'm not sure if I have um, colors that I also want to um, put into a project use up, maybe in place of this one. I have to think about this. This one here, I like this. I've used this maybe a handful of times, especially when I was taking this with me, but I have other green eyeshadows, um, darker green shadows that I like more, so I'm debating passing this one along. I'm gonna think about this one as well, and then we have these two here. These are both Cosmetic Cosmo eyeshadows. This one is in brown gold, and this is in Bordeaux gold. Now, this one I'm going to pass along because I believe I've mentioned this before. It's just a shadow I don't like anymore. I don't know if the consistency has changed or what it is. I used to like this a lot, which is why there is a bit of a dip going on here. But I don't like this anymore, so I'm going to pass this along. And then this shade here in Bordeaux Gold. I have shadows that are 
similar enough that I think I can pass this along without feeling too bad about it. I I like this shade, but just the fact that this is not cruelty free, whereas I have shadows that are cruelty free, makes me kind of want to reach for the others in, in place of this one. And I'm going to declutter this. I just want to move this out of my collection. I don't want to see it again. So that leaves me um, with these two that I still have to decide about. And um, I'm going to pass this along because Hello? because while this is nice enough, let me see if I can give you a swatch. It's just so dark that the green does not show up. And I have a green spur. The green actually shows up as a green and this just looks uh, dirty. So I'm going to pass this along. And then this shade here. Let me swatch this as well. So, it looks quite pretty on my finger. Okay, I have to keep this. I just love the color. I need to use this more often, in fact. I'm gonna keep that. So, I'm gonna put this in as it is. I have decluttered three of the shadows from here. And that means, pardon me, that means I have decluttered a total of four products from my Project Use It Up. The three shadows right here and my paint pot. So, this was it for my decluttering of my makeup basket. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did not declutter too much, but um, for me, what I decluttered are products that I just don't like enough. And um, the majority of the products in my makeup basket are actually products I like a lot. So, or products that I know I can use up fairly soon. So, all in all, I am very happy with um, the progress I have made so far, and I'm pretty sure I can declutter more soon. Now, um, this was it for this particular video, but I will see you guys soon. Bye!